Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm really honored that this year FIFA World Cup Championship takes part in my city, St. Petersburg, and in my country, Russia. And I know that not a lot of Russian people speak good English. Some people don't understand English at all. So I want to equip you with the most useful phrases and words that you would 99% need if you're coming to Russia for the World Cup. So if you're interested, please continue watching this video. Back to San Francisco. Our minds may change. By the way guys, if you're traveling to Russia not only to see the World Cup but also to learn Russian culture and maybe learn some Russian language, I would be really honored if you would use my company to help you with that. It's linguatrip.com, it's a booking platform for language courses all over the world including Russian and Russia. I was born and raised in Russia, I lived in Russia till I was 25 years old, I recently moved to the United States. but. You can trust me with my Russian, so let's go. Word number one is entrance. Entrance in Russian is вход. You would see a lot of signs with this word, вход. Выход, very similar, is exit. Вход, entrance, выход, exit. If you are traveling between Moscow and St. Petersburg, the best train to take is called Sapsen. That's the name of the train, and train in Russian is Поезд. Поезд. When you are taking your Sapsan from Moscow to St. Petersburg, you would need to go to the railway station. And the railway station in Russian is Vagzal. Moscow and St. Petersburg are really good cities in terms of the underground. Basically, in Moscow, it connects a lot of district of the city. St. Petersburg is on its way, but I use metro all the time. So, metro is the word that we use in Russia. But if you want to say it in a Russian manner, say metro. So metro, metro. I love when we have the same words both in Russian and in English because it helps me learn the language and it helps you learn the language. Another word is police in Russian, полиция. Police, полиция. A couple more words associated with traveling and another word that you can just basically translate from American or English into Russian is airport. In Russian it's аэропорт. As if you're reading the English word but just with the Russian accent. Аэропорт. Остановка is a stop. So when you're taking a bus you need to look for a bus stop and the stop is остановка. If you want to go shopping Shop in Russia is magazine. And the way you can remember it, but please don't confuse this magazine. When I started learning English, I thought magazine was a shop, but it wasn't a shop. Uh, so, but you can use this word to remember. Magazine means shop. Other two really easy words for you to remember are restaurant in Russian, restaurant, restaurant. And another one is hotel. You just omit the first H and you get hotel. Отель is hotel in Russian. Now I'm going to teach you to count in Russian, which is really useful. One, один, two, два, three, three, four, четыре, five, пять. You can say high five in Russian, дай пять. It's a cool phrase um, to learn and use in Russian. Дай пять means high five. Шесть, six, seven, семь, eight, восемь, девять, nine, nine is девять, and ten is десять. Oh, by the way, for one you can say раз and один. And this is one of the confusing things in Russian language. But there are so many confusing things, just don't pay attention to them. Now you know how to count in Russian. I'm gonna teach you some basic phrases and please, please, please make sure you write them down. Because again, as I mentioned, there are so many people in Russia who don't get English at all. And if you are lost somewhere, if you need somebody to show you the way, you can ask them in Russian and they would just show you the directions. So please write these things down. If you want to ask where is the stadium, you ask где стадион. Because stadium, stadion, где, where, где стадион. 
Where is the stadium? In Russia, they sometimes close the metro for the night and you might need to ask whether the underground is still open. So you can ask, Mitro Atkrita, is metro open? When you are at the stadium, you want to know where is the entrance and this is Gdje Vhod, where is the entrance? If you want to go out of the stadium, it's Gdje Vhod, where is the exit? Imagine that you already have your ticket and you're kind of lost on the stadium. You need to ask, where is your tribune? Gdje tribuna? Where is my tribune? And you need to basically show somebody the ticket so they will figure out what you're talking about. So, gdje tribuna? If you want to use the restroom, again, a really easy word. You can just transliterate it into Russian. Toilet, in Russian, toilet. And remember, the word where is gdje? Gdje toilet? Where is the toilet? I feel you guys are so profound now, like we're just connecting a couple words and you can make whole phrases. Oh my God. And don't be afraid uh, to make mistakes in Russian. Russian people love, love, love when you speak Russian. We feel so honored that are the people are actually learning Russian because there is this big culture of learning English, but there is not such a big culture of learning Russian. So any Russian would try to be as helpful as he can. You might see people even being shy because they don't know what to do and maybe this is their first time with a foreigner. But you should know that Russian people are really kind, willing to help. Um, so yeah, just smile and don't be afraid of making any mistakes. If you are hungry, you can ask Gdje kupit jedu? This basically means where can I buy food? Or remember, we've learned the word restaurant. You can say, where is the restaurant? Gdje restaurant? Now let's get to football specific phrases. If you want to ask what's the current score, imagine you were too obsessed with um, visiting St. Petersburg museums and you're late and you come to the stadium and you're like, what's going on? What is the score? You can ask, kakoi shot? Kakoi shot? You can just ask your neighbor in Russian. Oh my God, guys, and if you're watching this video, you are obliged to practice Russian when you travel. You just have to use at least a couple of phrases from this video. And let me know on Instagram, you can hashtag me Lingua Marina or tag me in your photos and let me know that you've used my video. Oh my God, that would be so, so cool. And actually people know me in Russia, so I have a Russian channel. And if somebody tells you, how did you learn? Tell them it's me. I'm just kidding, but if you're using Russian, please tag me. <laughs> that would be great. If you want to ask what is the lineup, you can ask Kakoi Sastav. Kakoi Sastav. If you want to know how much time is left of the game, you can ask Skolka Astalis Vremeni. Again, Skolka is how much, and you can also use this word when you're wondering how much does a souvenir cost. You can just point at a thing that you like in the shop and ask Skolka. And that would mean that you are wondering what's the price. Skolka. When the game finishes and you want to say we lost, you can say мы проиграли. Мы is we. Проиграли, lost. Мы проиграли. If it's a draw, you can say ничья. Draw in Russian is ничья. But if you won, you can say мы выиграли. We won. Мы выиграли. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If there are some phrases that you feel that you really, really, really need and I haven't mentioned them, please comment below with a phrase that you think would be useful during your trip. I hope you enjoy your trip to Russia. I hope you love my country. I hope you use the phrases that I've just taught you. Please like this video. If you're interested to learn more Russian, here is my video about most common phrases in Russian and if you just want to learn the Russian culture and habits that everyone should adopt from Russians in my opinion watch this video and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel there is a subscribe button right here the circle one click it and subscribe and I'll see you in the next vlogs bye